free is not a business model, or is it? eBay entered the Chinese market by buying EachNet, the largest copycat site in China, then went about completely changing the user interface in line with its own corporate US centric branding and functions. This went totally against how Chinese consumers bought online and lost eBay many customers and market traction. Jack May, Alibaba.com founder, spotted an opportunity and created a rival site called Taobao, allowing Chinese consumers to use its basic functions for free and only pay for premium listing services such as product advertising. This move captured much of eBay's past customers, leading eBay to put a, out a Chinese press release aimed at May and Taobao, which said, free is not a business model, and went on to claim, giving people something for nothing is not sustainable. May ignored eBay, and as Taobao grew its user base to millions, Power sellers and major brands increased their spend on premium service services such as advertising to position their products to the correct target audience. eBay then CEO Meg Whitman came to China to try and fix their problems, even meeting May to try and cut a deal. May ignored their pleas, accelerating his free business model and eBay pulled out of China completely within a year. Free as a business model can work in the right circumstances, providing huge value to customers. We've adopted it with print and scan technology, internet phone systems, and laptops bundled with Office 365. We provide the technology for free, saving thousands in many instances, and all the customer pays is an affordable monthly fee for what you print, the calls you make, and the service you use. We even throw in lifetime maintenance and support too. Could free as a business model provide value to your customers too?